it was a simple proposal that got a lot of attention. At the SEC spring meetings in Destin, Florida, South Carolina's Steve Spurrier proposed that conference coaches pay their 70-member travel squads $300 apiece out of the coaches' personal bank accounts. The proposal was signed by fellow SEC coaches like Les Miles, Nick Saban, Will Muschamp, Houston Nutt, Derek Dooley, and Dan Mullen. By his own admission, Spurrier didn't feel his proposal would get very far, but it has started discussion. Similar conversations in the Big Ten and Big 12. With paying players such a hot buzz topic, CST decided to ask three legends of the game, a pair of Pro Football Hall of Famers, and the only guy to have played on five Super Bowl winning teams. What's your take on college players getting paid? Well, I, I think that didn't be in the open. I, I think that a lot of players are probably getting paid or getting some, some type of help you know, under the table. And it, it only hurts the um, university when they get caught because those players are only the cream of the crop. They're the ones getting, getting caught. And, uh, and then they bring the shame down on the coaches. The coaches have to step down. They always got to fight for players. Hey, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't get anything when I played. The love of the game drove me. And, um, but game has changed, you know. The love of the game is not what it's supposed to be when you got a lot of people want, want the best players to come to that team and willing to do anything to make that happen. To be very, very honest, there's so much money involved to where kids are going to have to be paid something. You cannot take a guy like Earl Campbell from Tyler, Texas and throw him in the environment at the University of Texas. That was in the 70s. You can't do that in 2000. So I think they're going about it right, and uh, that's something. And I think that's going to be the way to keep these kids from crossing the line of getting in trouble. What do you think about college players possibly getting paid? Well, I mean, they're going to get paid uh, one way or the other. I mean, you can have legalized or unlegalized. It's going to happen. It's been happening in college before I got in college. It ain't going to change. I mean, you think that uh, the man I got to tell you that they went through college and they was all American, uh, uh, they was hiding the trophies or something, and they ain't never got none. They'll be lying to you. So they need, they need to wake up and uh, smell the coffee. I mean, it just ain't right. Let the debate begin. Reporting for CST Tonight, I'm Eric Ritchie.